I'm Donna Lamkin Stevens, and we're back today on Spotlight, where we feature the University of Central Arkansas's College of Fine Arts and Communication. Thanks for joining us. My guests today are my colleague Rebecca Scallett, producing artistic director of Arkansas Shakespeare Theater, as well as a lecturer in the UCA Theater Program, and Schaefer Bourne and Hannah Mulder, student actors, who will be in the next UCA Theater production of Caucasian Chalk Circle. So please join us to talk about UCA Theater when we return in a moment. The University of Central Arkansas offers programs you can't find anywhere else in the state. Thank you. Like digital filmmaking, an education that's helped me enter film festivals, and intern at a local TV station. UCA has given me school pride I can call my own, and a community that feels more like a family. Action. UCA put me and my education front and center. Learn how at uca.edu. I'm joined now by Rebecca Scallett, Schaefer Bourne, and Hannah Mulder to talk about UCA Theater. So guys, thanks for joining us on Spotlight. Happy to be yeah, here. <laughs> now Rebecca, we're most familiar with talking to you about Arkansas Shakespeare Theater here on Spotlight. Mm -hmm. So let's start there. Give us sort of a debriefing of the 2013 season. It was great. It was great. It was another great season. For the second year in a row, we had more than 5,000 people attend our productions, which is a great figure and really exciting. Uh, we did. King Lear and Much Ado About Nothing and Oliver. Oliver, Oliver, of course, the fabulous production <laughs> of Oliver. And then we had a great tour of Midsummer Night's Dream and all, everything was well attended and, and a lot of fun. So it was your second summer, so mm -hmm. now you have something to compare it to. Yes. So how, how would you compare 13 to 12? Uh, well, they were both great. I think they, they were different each in their own way. How? Um, the, the 12 was my first year, and so everything was new and really exciting, and but also challenging. Um, figuring out who to talk to to get things done, how to get things to to work the best way. And the second year, you know, I had some of that down. I had some rhythms down a little with easier. my colleagues. So definitely a little bit easier, okay. a little bit less stressful. Okay, good, <laughs> good. Yeah. So what have you been doing for AST since July 1? I mean, it closed, the season closed, what, about the end of June? Mm -hmm. Okay. So first uh, I took like two weeks off Good. and slept. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And, uh, and then I started right away working on pl planning the season for this upcoming summer of 14, which we just announced this past Friday night. So I was going to say, get, tell us, dish. Uh, so we are, this coming summer, we are doing Two Gentlemen of Verona, which mm -hmm. is going to be our outdoor show, and that's the one that I'm oh, going to direct. Good. Okay. And we'll take that to the Village at Hendrix again, and also return to the Argenta Arts District, which was really a great location for us. Then our tragedy is going to be Hamlet, which, believe it or not, AST has not done Never yet. Done. That's <laughs> right. That's right. So uh, that's really exciting. And Robert Quinlan, who directed oh, Richard sure. III two years ago, is coming back to direct oh, that. Oh, good, good. And I think he's the, the perfect director for it. Uh, and then we'll be doing Pippin for our musical. Okay. And uh, the kids show will be an adaptation of Comedy of Errors. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Now, that's, that's enough of a job. Yes. But you also have a second part to your job, which is as a lecturer in the UCA Theater Program. Yes. So tell us, tell us what that's like. Um, you, you go crazy all year, and then you have this big summer. And then how do you fit in during the academic year? It's definitely challenging. Um, it, takes, it takes a lot of time, but that was one of the parts that really appealed to me about this job when it became available, was that it had the opportunity to teach and work with students as well as run a professional company. And uh, the UCA students are really, you know, they're, they're our apprentice company. They're our, oh, yeah. our, our uh, farm team, you know, yes. Um, yes. To, to get them ready to come <coughs> and, and work with AST and go out into other Shakespeare theaters, other, other regional theaters, and to be able to do great work. So I love having the opportunity to share with them my passion for Shakespeare and for theater and, uh, and create art with them. It's a lot of fun for me. Had you taught before? I had, yes. Okay, yes. okay so you had a little bit. Okay, so we have uh, uh, Schaefer and Hannah here with us today. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell us, uh, have you had her in class? I actually haven't had her in class okay. yet, but I had the opportunity to work uh, under AST. What did you summer. do last summer? I worked in the costume shop. Okay, great. Um, it was a lot of fun, a lot of work, but it definitely built a backbone for me to be, you know, because this is what I want to do. I mean, you either love it or hate it after being baptized <laughs> like that, right? Exactly. So you, you change yeah. your major pretty yeah. quick. If you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Definitely. But it was an amazing experience. So you're so wonderful, wonderful people. Yes. Good deal. Mm -hmm. How about you, Schaefer? Yeah, uh, I uh, worked with Rebecca in a class. Um, in a advanced Shakespeare class last, actually, last year it was actually two years ago yeah, my I first believe. year oh, yeah okay, yeah okay. Uh, yeah I was a sophomore at the time mm -hmm. um, yeah we did a touring show of the Tempest mm -hmm. that was uh, kind of uh, 
uh, adapted for like a children's theater style. And we toured around Arkansas and went to a bunch of schools and stuff. It was a really great experience. Okay, so Rebecca, you are directing just our, your second time with UCA Theater, mm -hmm. right? That's right. The upcoming uh, production of Caucasian Chalk Circle. So what are some of the differences in directing, for example, uh, Two Gentlemen of Verona mm -hmm. and, and Caucasian Chalk Circle? You've got professional actors, you've got <coughs> students here. What, what are the differences and what are the similarities? Well, in terms of the, the scripts themselves, I've actually been really surprised by how much Caucasian Chalk Circle is like a oh. Shakespeare play. Um, Brecht <laughs> was, I think, inspired by Shakespeare. And it's very episodic. It you know, moves through a lot of different locations. There's music involved. There's dance. There's all these different elements. And then the language is very uh, muscular. It's very okay. challenging language that has been... Uh, fun, a lot of fun to, mm -hmm. to deal with with the students. So I've been approaching it pretty much the same way as I would a Shakespeare play. We started with some pretty intensive table work. Uh, we did some viewpoints work, which is this mm -hmm. physical theater technique that I like to incorporate into my productions to tr find the physicality of the characters. Everybody in this play is playing, like all the students are playing multiple roles, some of oh, them three, okay. four, and five roles. These guys, I think, only play, well, you only play, no, you play two. Yeah, there's two, there's And uh, you play two. two. two yeah, <laughs> three, three, maybe. Um, yeah. But some of the other ones are playing all different characters, so trying to find the differences in those. Okay. Um, okay. So it's so it's a lot like doing that. And, of course, working with students is different than working with the professionals, but I try to... How? To, how? Well, what would you say? I think that... Um, some of them, we have some freshmen in the production, are really coming to this for the very first mm. time. So teaching them what, what the practices are, how to be professional, um, just important things like start being able to start on time. And, you know, <laughs> the, and, you know they, a <laughs> they might be there at 6 o'clock when we start, but they're still, mm -hmm. you know, using the restroom, getting water, you know, trying to, okay, no, we're going to start right at 6 o'clock mm -hmm. and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, and the the rigor and, and time that it really takes to be able to do something like this. Mm. Okay, so give us a synopsis of the play first. Any of y'all can, can jump in here. You guys want to take that? <laughs> well, uh, it's a play within a play style. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the prologue of the play starts out different than what the majority of it is. Mm -hmm. uh, but I guess I'll explain the majority of it. <laughs> it's a little difficult to explain, actually. It's hard. But, um, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely chime in, guys. It, it's, <laughs> it's it's about it's about there's a there's a uh, I guess a kingdom or a city, whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it, in uh, uh, Grusinia, and um, there's basically at the beginning you are introduced to a bunch of different characters, mostly royalty, and uh, there's a coup that happens, and uh, most of the royalty leave, and all the all that's left is a baby who happens to be the son of the governor who is one of the higher-ups, uh, and um, uh, Grusha, who is uh, just kind of like a, a, a servant of the court. And everyone has abandoned this baby, uh, and Grusha's the only one left, and she is becomes attached to this baby. And it's basically kind of a adventure. I, 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 that's one of the things I like about mm -hmm. the place so much. It's very adventurous. And it kind of follows the path that Grusha and Michael, the, the baby, take across the mountains of the, of the Caucasus uh, region, which is why it's called the mm -hmm. Caucasian uh, mm -hmm. Chalk Circle. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the Caucasus Mountains, which go through the uh, kind of northern Georgia mm -hmm. in uh, Eastern Europe. And uh, yeah, it's about her and Michael and this path that they take uh, through the mountains and uh, how they grow together uh, throughout the adventure. Mm -hmm. So how did you pick this play? I mean. Did what? you have a? Uh, you didn't have a role in picking it. Uh, it no, they're planned, they're planned well in advance. Right, tell, right. tell us yes, about this. Yes. Tell us about um, the selection so the, process. The theater faculty chooses the season, and we meet together and How read far a in lot advance? of plays. This one we picked two years ago, actually. Right when you got here. Right, yeah, okay. right when we got here. Okay. Yeah, before I had done anything in the department at all. Okay. And um, each one of us gets the opportunity to bring plays to the table that we're either interested in doing ourselves or think would be great for the department to do, and then we discuss and vote. Was and, this uh, your? This was, this was oh. mine. This is actually a play that I have wanted to do for a really, okay. really long time, okay. uh, ever since I first read it. And I've always really liked Brecht, uh -huh. um, but this is my favorite of his plays because it's so human and emotional. And mm -hmm. people tend to think of, when you think about Bertolt Brecht, you think about alienation mm -hmm. and really confronting the audience with the message of the play. And while this play has a pretty, definitely has, I think, a strong political message, 
it, it doesn't hit you over the head with it at all. It really involves you in Grusha's story and, and what's happening to her and the people um, of this region. And I, I find it to be really involving and exciting. And so I was just thrilled that um, the rest of my faculty went along with it and said that I could do it. So good, good. Um, it's been great. So, so tell us your background, uh, Schaefer and, and Hannah. Where are you from? How'd you wind up at UCA? How did you settle on theater as a, as a passion? Well, um, I'm from Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, I did a little bit of theater in what, high school. What year are you? I'm a senior. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> and um, I did a little bit of theater in high school, um, not really until about my junior or senior year of high school, and I immediately fell in love with it. I um, was a music uh, nerd <laughs> a little okay. bit. Um, I was in choir ever since I was in seventh grade, so whenever I came to UCA, I wanted to be a music major. And once I got into the program, um, I realized I still had that soft spot for theater and I didn't have it my first semester at UCA and I needed it really bad. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I went back and auditioned for You're in Town um, mm -hmm. whenever we did was that, that here. You were a freshman then? Yes, I was a freshman okay. So there. second semester of your freshman year, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, I auditioned for that, loved the people, loved the faculty, and had a blast. And I decided I wanted to go more in the theater route than I was uh, music. Um, yes. So, <laughs> yeah, they Hold another one definitely in. converted me. <laughs> um, but I've... But don't I've, you think music helps you as a theater person? Oh, yes. I, I think any kind of art that sure. you can get involved with definitely can help another one. Sure. Um, because even whenever I was in choir um, and, and involved with theater, you know, doing some type of character works and realizing that people write music or write a piece for some sort of reason, you know, mm -hmm. like they're, they're trying to get a message across even if it's, um, mm -hmm. you know, musically, the way that they write it. And, uh, crescendos, day mm -hmm. crescendos, all of that means something and you have to break it down and, and figure out what they're really trying to get across to their audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, theater definitely does the same same thing in, in how the set and costumes and um, how you portray it as well. So I guess we just need a musical theater emphasis, don't we? Well, we do. Absolutely <laughs> we do. And yeah, and, and Hannah's one of those people that would really excel and she's the, she's the kind of person that's great for, for AST because she mm -hmm. can sing and, and right. work in the musical yeah. theater world <laughs> and is a strong actress as well okay. in straight theater. So, Schaefer, important. what's your story? Um, well, I came from Lone Oak, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's a pretty small town. Um, we didn't really have a uh, theater program or any kind of drama uh, when I was growing up in at least when I got into high school, mm -hmm. it was gone. <coughs> so it's um, too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, <laughs> it, it is, and it's something that you know is happening all across the country. I think, um, but uh, but so I didn't really have that. But I knew I always wanted to do it. And me and my friends were always making movies mm -hmm. and stuff. They were terrible, but uh, <laughs> but I always really enjoyed. Th there was something about it that drew me to it, and um, I knew <laughs> when I came to UCA or whatever college I was going to go to, that I wanted to at least try out for a play. So I ended up coming to UCA. So you had never been in any play before no, you got No, I had never been in, in a play. Wow. Yeah, and I auditioned for the Bacchae, which uh, was the same year as you were in town, mm -hmm. uh, but in the fall, or so I guess it was the year before. But So, uh, so that was your freshman year? Yes, that okay. was my freshman okay. year as well. Okay. And uh, I did that, and then I started doing other things around the theater, and I was like, yep, this is what I want to <laughs> do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they have a pretty good way of doing yeah. that. Yeah. Once you That's step good. in there, you're just yeah. if you have that feeling and you do it, most likely you're going to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Um, so what have you two been involved in? What productions of, of UCA theater have you have you been involved in? And what did you do as 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 part of these plays? Um, I, like I said, my first show was You're in Town, mm -hmm. um, and then. We were both in Mr. Marmalade together. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then I worked wardrobe for Taming of the Shrew. Okay. And uh, Bow Stratagem mm -hmm. uh, was Cherry in that. And then. So uh, mostly acting for you? Yeah, mostly acting. Okay. Uh, like I said, the Taming of the Shrew, mm -hmm. I, I did um, wardrobe, which was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It was very neat to see how you know, backstage, how important that job is as well mm -hmm. as, you know, being an actor. And yeah. you work in the costume shop too, regularly, yeah. don't you? Mm -hmm. Now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So well, what about you, Chef? Yeah, uh, I, I did uh, The Bacchae. Um, I was in Marmalade, uh, Mr. Marmalade, uh, Our Town. 
I, uh, I played George in that. I played Hortensio in Taming of the Shrew. Uh, I did uh, Spring Awakening. We were both in that last yes. year. Mm -hmm. That as uh, well. That's a big one. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, like a one acts and things like that, mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. also, the theater here has a, a really cool thing that is the student directed mm -hmm. uh, uh, plays. Um, At the end of every plays. semester. Just uh, the first just semester. The, the end of the fall semester. semester. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's. Uh, students from the directing class get to come back and actually direct a full-length play and we put it in a black box setting and it's really cool and I got to do that um, and also I do work in the scene shop uh, okay. as well so I get to do the technical aspect of it okay. too. And you guys are both directing for the, the yes. one access semester yes. too, right? We are okay. directors okay, this year, great. yeah. This is so you're getting a, an all-around experience. Yes, and yep. I think that's something that um, coming into the theater department that I really loved because it um, definitely gives you that rounded experience. Uh, they very much encourage you to see a technical side, mm -hmm. see an acting side, because there's some people that want to just be a lighting designer, but mm -hmm. they yeah. never mm -hmm. thought about being an actor. Mm -hmm. And when they get on stage, they're wonderful. Yeah. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. all about just finding out what you want to do, what your place is, and mm -hmm. also being able to appreciate theater as a whole mm -hmm. and how much teamwork and cooperation takes to mm -hmm. make a production and make a very wonderful production. Definitely. So. Yeah. so what attracted the two of you to this play? And and when were you aware that it was coming up? Uh, I mean, we It was, what, was it uh, at the very end of last year, yeah. I think? Yes. You make the announcement yeah. at the end, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. sometimes <laughs> at different places, yeah, but last year, I, I think it was in the uh, spring semester. Um, I, I had read it already in a design class that okay. I was taking, uh, and as I said before, one of the things I really liked about it is how this is truly an adventure of a play, mm -hmm. you know? Follow this one, you know, protagonist through this, 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 you know, not only physically through mountains, but, you know, um, you know, as the relationship between her and Michael grow. Uh, and, you, and you have so many characters. There's what, 52 characters in the yes. entire play. <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah wow. that's why there's so much, uh, you know, uh, double, triple casting, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or uh, actors playing like two or three characters. But yeah, the adventurous nature of it is what I really liked. Mm -hmm. there's, the character you're playing is also really interesting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, that's my next question. Did you did you uh, did you audition for a particular? Uh, part or just in general, and then you then you cast who you think for. How does how do the auditions work? They're allowed to. We have an audition sheet, and they can put on their form if there's a certain part that they mm -hmm. really want. Okay. But typically, and these guys, I think, just said whatever. anything. You know, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever you see me for. Now, I don't know if they there were parts that they wanted going into <laughs> it. <laughs> it's it's general, but you know. If you want a certain character, you might think be thinking about that when you're choosing what monologue you want to perform mm -hmm. sure, or something sure. like that. Yeah. So did you get what you wanted? Oh, yeah. There's a way that th that happens, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I think in reading the play beforehand, too, really helped uh, out as well because you get to see a huge, the, the, the whole picture and, sure. and figure out, you know, where your best strengths might be. Um, and figure out who you might want to go for and, mm -hmm. and everything. And yeah, that's what drew me to it too. Is the so when, when were these auditions? After AST or? Yes, we did them at the very beginning of the semester. Mm -hmm. So this has been so a pretty quick turnaround then. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been in rehearsal for a little over two weeks now, like two and a half okay. weeks. Mm -hmm. so, and we had auditions right before that. Okay, okay. So you mentioned 52 characters. Mm -hmm. So tell us how big is the cast? How big is the crew? How many people are involved in this? And, and what all? What all are they doing? The cast is 21. Okay. Um, is that bigger than usual? It's a little bit bigger than usual. Yeah. Um, yeah. We do, I think the, we t the bigger shows tend to be right around 20, maybe a little less. Okay. Um, I had uh, my first draft of casting, I think I had 30, and then I was like, that's just too many people. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to figure out, you know, okay, let's make this a triple and, and move this thing here. So that was a difficult process. Uh, but there were so many great students that auditioned that it was, it's, a, it's a great show, too, to give a lot of people opportunities, which yeah. has been really yeah. nice about it. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to have, we have three stage managers, a stage manager and two ASMs, um, a full design team, and which is, we have a student set designer, which is great, and a student costume designer, and then faculty doing lighting and sound. Great. Uh, yeah. And then we'll have, I think, four people backstage and two dressers. So it's a, okay. a pretty big operation. Pretty major undertaking. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 What's it like playing two roles? 
How do, how do you do this? Um, I think it helps the fact that Bertolt Brecht wrote it in a sense of being a play within a play okay. because you can kind of get an idea in the prologue in the beginning it's more modern day and and they're talking about how their land is um, being compromised and might be taken away to the city so then they can renovate it but the people don't want that to happen and they really want to keep the land flourishing the way that they had it before this war broke out and uh, there's similarities because uh, the prologue and the story of Grusha and Azdak that you learn is kind of uh, parallel to each other. So in a sense, the characters um, mirror um, in, in both aspects, uh, at least for us. I know that there's some other people that have maybe like five different characters they play and might have like a different process so that they go through. Are you the one that <laughs> figured out, okay, one person's going to play all of these roles? Yes. Before you even knew who, they, who that person was? No, you know, I actually waited to do it until after auditions okay. because I wanted to see that the different talents that people brought to the table and see how I could make the best use of that. So okay. with, the, the, with these two guys, um, we've got this prologue that introduces everything and so I very specifically chose the role that I wanted them to take in the prologue and how that related to their role in the okay. rest of the play. Okay. Um, okay. So there's definitely connections there. Okay. So what's it like working with Rebecca? It's wonderful. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I have yeah. to say that. And you don't have her. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not in class. No, that's true. Well, I'm not they're getting, them. Yeah, they're not, you're, you're not being graded no. for this. So. <laughs> so. One thing um, that I've, I, I've never, I've worked with Rebecca in class and that was with her directing us, but it was still in class and this is my first full production uh, with her, but uh, one thing that I really like that we've done so far is we spent an entire week of rehearsal doing table work, mm -hmm. which is extremely important. And I think sometimes it's explain something what that is. Yeah, uh, well, there's before you actually get on stage and on your feet, mm -hmm. a very important part of getting into your character and figuring out exactly what you want it to be like, or or him or her, or what they're thinking in certain uh, places in the script, is uh, just sitting down at a table with the cast and going through the script and literally just pulling things out of the text. Almost it's like a classroom experience. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. Is very, it is very uh, classroomy like that, yeah. And uh, it's reading through it and getting down uh, it to the choices that you make, why do you make those choices, uh, making up a backstory that affects mm -hmm. you, uh, you, know, um, you know, using your imagination to make the play uh, rich, you know. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So have either of you ever worked with her with AST? Uh, with AST, yes, but I've never had her as a director. Okay, so this, this is very okay. nice because uh, I've been in a couple of shows with um, Chris Fritzkis mm -hmm. and Kevin Brown, and um, but I, I haven't gotten to work with Rebecca yet, and so <laughs> it's been really... So what is, what is it like? I mean, how is she different from Chris or, or from Kevin? And, and do you have to sort of learn to work with a particular director, or do they have to learn to work with you as an actor? I would say both, yeah. definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's you know everybody's going to be different. Um, uh, you know, yeah, it, every it's it's like it's like working for uh, you know different bosses, kind of. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's give and take, hopefully, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, people are people do things differently. You know, it's uh, you can prefer one to the other, maybe, but the reality of it is, you know, that if if you're going to do something like in any job, you're going sure. to have to get used to dealing with different people. And uh, uh, I think that the faculty at UCA is really good. And uh, I've had no problems with anybody I've worked with, you know. Mm -hmm. Everybody does things differently, mm -hmm. but it's it all works. Well, and that's a, that's a good, well-rounded experience you're getting while you're here. Definitely, so that's, that's, yeah. that's what yeah. we want. Because so. there, there are some similarities, I know, that um, definitely between uh, Kevin Brown and mm -hmm. Rebecca is that they use viewpoints a lot and I love using viewpoints so much because mm -hmm. it's a very nice way to physically get yourself involved um, with your character and figure out how they walk or mm -hmm. maybe how they interact with people and and you know there's like c certain techniques like that that different directors might want to take on or um, they might have a different type of technique that uh, they want to try out, and it's. I think for us, it's all about just being open and being mm -hmm. ready to, mm -hmm. you know, answer the call of being our characters. Because I mean, I, I love just being there. I love just <laughs> being in the space and ready to go. Like you tell me to do anything, I'll do it. <laughs> but it's been a very wonderful experience and very 
um, new and refreshing, definitely, to be with Rebecca, too, so. Now, Rebecca, what do you teach? Do you teach the, I mean, do you, the it, different class every semester, one or two, or what? How it, it varies. This semester, I'm only teaching one, because I'm also directing. Um, okay. I teach typically two a semester, because so, half my job is ASD and okay. half is teaching. Uh, so I'm teaching an acting for non-majors class this semester, which is always great because it's a wonderful opportunity to get people like this who uh, <laughs> maybe are interested in no, theater but not You're theater not majors? majors. Well, no, they are, but <laughs> I meant like oh, okay. their no. stories oh. that they weren't oh, when they I originally see. started. Sure. So that people who have an interest yeah. but aren't officially enrolled. Did y'all take that class? Them. I took um, not for non-majors because okay. I, I had already, you already decided sort of that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, my my kind of entry was doing the play. I wanted oh, you to just do the jump play. barreled in, and then after that, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna start taking classes now. Okay. So I just did acting, the initial acting class. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you were in the costume shop last summer with AST, mm -hmm. and what about you, Schaefer? Uh, I didn't work with AST uh, last summer. Have um, you before? Uh, Sort of. I, I, I did help out with a, uh, it was at Wildwood Park. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, yeah. we, we did, it was actually the touring show that we had done. We did scenes from that. Okay. And we were representing AST. Not uh, part of the actual festival. Not during the festival. Not during the festival. festival. Events okay. during yes. the year. And that's a great way for me, cause we have these great talented students. So during the year, a lot of times people want AST to, to do performances right. and appear at events. And, uh, so they get these guys are my go-to when, yeah. when those kind of things so happen. So after working with her on this play, are you apt to want to be involved next summer in AST? Oh yes, completely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to team. audition. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Good. good deal, good deal. So, uh, what do y'all want to do in the future? I mean, are, do you want to be an act, actor, or do you want to do some? Of, you just want to be in in the theater world somehow, or tell me, tell us what your your plans are, and your dreams. <laughs> um, well, for me, I definitely, there's there's something about becoming a different character that just, it's a great uh, feeling. I, I, I don't think I could do, I could do other things besides acting, but like that's really what I want to do just because okay. there's there's something about it. It's like a, it's some sort of high you get whenever you're on stage, <laughs> you know, it, because I sometimes I'll come off stage and not remember what I just did. Like I'll, I'll do everything the same like we've rehearsed, but there's something different in that connection on stage and in the moment with an audience that it's just it's so much different and I'll just come off not knowing what happened and it's so great. I, I really would love to do that, but um, I understand that, you know, going in the real world, you're probably gonna have to do some other jobs <laughs> before you get there. <laughs> before you yeah. get there. Yeah. Um, but uh, anything with theater, I mean, that's why I've been working with the costume shop too, is because that's something else that I like to do uh, with theater to contribute. So um, if anything else, I can do that, I can act, I can, um, I, sometimes I work uh, with the film students here mm -hmm. at UCA mm -hmm. as well and try to kind of get in the movie scene as mm -hmm. well um, because that's a different dynamic as well sure. from theater. So sure. just trying to always keep myself busy, always trying to audition, finding people that I can work with very well, maybe come up with some new projects of our own. Okay. I just always want to stay busy with with this field okay. in some way. Well, tell us, give us the details of the performance, where, when, how much? Uh, so Caucasian Shock Circle opens November 7th. It's the 7th and 8th, and then the following, the following week, uh, week, yeah, uh, mm -hmm, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, early to mid-November. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, tickets are free to UCA students. But you have to get a ticket. Mm -hmm. You do have to get a ticket. UCA students, faculty, and staff with your ID uh, at Reynolds box office. Um, and yeah. <laughs> and it's at Bridges Larson. It is at Bridges, Bridges Larson, Larson Theater. Theater. Okay, yes. very good. Well, I can't wait to see it. Congratulations, and thank you for coming on Spotlight with thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. For more information about the programs and people featured on the show, call the College of Fine Arts and Communication at 501-450-3293 
or check us out on the web at www.uca.edu slash CFAC. And be sure to like us on Facebook. We'll be back again next week, so join us then for Spotlight.